I will explain what is meant by numeric integration, its advantages and one method of numeric integration that is trapezoidal rule in this video. Also, I will be solving one problem by using trapezoidal rule. All of you know how to evaluate this definite integral. So you have to integrate, then apply the limits and then find out the answer. But in methods of numeric integration, we can obtain this value directly from here without integrating the actual function. So therefore, this method is useful when the integrand is very difficult to integrate or even impossible to integrate. You consider these examples. Here, we don't have any analytic functions for integrating cos x square as well as e raised to minus x square. But we can evaluate these definite integrals by using method of numeric integration. So there are many methods for performing this but only two methods are included in your syllabus that is trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule. In this video, I will be explaining trapezoidal rule. Suppose you have to evaluate an integral of f of x from x0 to xn. So, you know the geometrical meaning of this integral that is the area under the curve y equal to f of x from x0 to xn. So, I have plotted it here. This is the function y equal to f of x and now we have to integrate it from x0 to xn. So, then the value of this definite integral is same as the area under this curve from x0 to xn. So, in trapezoidal rule, we will divide the interval x0 to xn into equal subintervals of length h. That is, in this case, I have divided this interval to x0 to x1 first interval and x1 to x2 second interval like that. And here the difference between these two that is x1 minus x0 will be equal to h and here x2 minus x1 will be equal to h and now that I have marked here also x3 minus x2 will be h like that. We are dividing the interval from x0 to xn into equal subintervals. And I have divided this region into trapezoids like this. So, trapezoid means it is a geometrical figure like this. Two sides will be parallel, the other two pair, other pair will not be parallel. So, then here this shape is known as trapezoid. So, I have divided this region into trapezoids. So, therefore, area under this curve will be equal to sum of the areas of these trapezoids. And we have formula for finding area of the trapezoid. So, if you are considering the first one, here it is x0, here it is x1, this distance is h. And now this is the function y equal to fx. Therefore, this length will be f of x0 and this will be f of x1. So, area of the first trapezoid will be h by 2 into f of x0 plus f of x1. So, this is the formula for finding area of the trapezoid. So, like this we can find out area of the second trapezoid. So, this is the first trapezoid. And now this is the second trapezoid, its area will be h by 2 into 
f of x1 plus f of x2. And now, like that it goes. And then, last episode, its area will be equal to h by 2 into f of x n minus 1 plus f of x n. Now, the area under this curve means sum of all these areas. So, if you are adding all these, we can see that fx1 appears only once, fx1 appears two times, fx2 also will appear two times and like that f of xn minus also will be there in the previous formula and then this f of x1 appears only once. So, if you are adding all these, you can write this one will be equal to h by 2 into fx0 and fx1, fxn only once. Therefore, fx0 plus f of xn, I have written like this. And now, plus all other terms, two terms. So, we can write all other terms like this, plus 2 into f of x1 plus f of x2 plus etc plus f of x n minus 1. So, this is the formula for evaluating this definite integral by using trapezoidal rule. So, when you get a problem to evaluate definite integral using trapezoidal rule, what you have to do is first you decide n. That means into how many subintervals you have to divide the given interval. So, if n is decided, then you can find out the value of h. So, then h will be equal to xn minus x0 by number of subintervals. So, you can evaluate this value, that means the value of h by using this formula. And then after that, you find out the values for x0, x1, x2, etc, xn. And then find out values of f of x0 and f of x1 f of x2 etc up to f of xn and then substitute in this formula and then evaluate the definite integral. So, I will explain this method by solving one problem. Suppose we have to integrate x cube from 0 to 1. So, suppose I am going to divide the interval 0 to 1 into 5 subintervals. So, that means n will be equal to 5. Okay, in this case, n is equal to 5. Therefore, h will be equal to xn minus x0 by h. That is 1 minus 0. This is x0, this is xn. So, 1 minus 0 by 5. 1 by 5 that is equal to 0 0.2. And now this is our fx. So therefore fx is equal to x cube. Now next is prepare a table with values of x and values of fx. So I will prepare one table like this x and f of x. Okay, we can write. So, x is the first value is 0, that is x0. So, x0 is equal to 0. And now next x1 will be, see this x1 can be obtained by adding h to x0. So, in this problem, h is 0 0.2. Therefore, x0 plus 0 0.2, that is 0 0.2. And now next is x2. x2 will be obtained by adding h to x1. So, x1 is 0.2 x2 is 0.4 and like that you can complete this one now. So, this is next one is x3 that is 0.6 and now x4 0.8 and x5 is 1. So, till you get this value of x0 you have to find out the value of x0 and now find out fx that means the value at x0 that is f of x0 is this is 0 we have written fx as x cube so substitute 0 here so 0 cube will give you 0 and now next is 0.2 so you substitute 0.2 here 
So you will be getting 0.2 cube that is 0.008 and next is 0.4 cube that is 0.064 and now next is 0.6 cube that is 0.216 and now find out 0.8 cube that is 0.512 next is 1 cube that is 1. So this is our f of x naught. This is f of x1 and now this is f of x2, f of x3, f of x4 and f of x5. Next you write down trapezoidal rule. So trapezoidal rule says that integral 0 to 1 x cube dx is equal to h by 2 into first term plus last term. So in this case last term is f of x5. So you can write f of x0 plus f of x5 plus 2 into all other terms. All other terms means f of x1, f of x2 plus f of x3 plus f of x4. So I can write f of x1 plus f of x2 plus etc plus f of x4. So we have written all these values in this table. Directly substitute, so you will get h by 2, h is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 by 2 and now 0 plus 1 plus 2 into 0 0.008 plus 0 0.064 plus 0 0.216 plus 0 0.512. So if you are simplifying, you will get this answer as 0.26. So this is the value of this integral by using trapezoidal rule. But if you are integrating this one by actual method, that is 0 to 1 x cube dx, by actual integration you will get x raised to 4 by 4 here. It is from 0 to 1 that is equal to 0 0.25. So there is an error in this value. So if you want to minimize this error, what you have to do is, you have to increase number of subintervals. So if you are increasing number of subintervals, or if you are taking it as 10 or 15, you can minimize this error and you will get approximately uh, that uh, almost same value, exact value. You will be getting almost the uh, original value. So therefore, if you are, it is very difficult if you are taking n is equal to 20 or 25. But since computers are there, you can write program for this one and you can choose n as 50 or 60 or 100. And you can obtain that exact value in case of actual problems. Thank you.